both in Travis County has officials looking to put a long-term plan in place for how land, water, and transportation should be utilized. This is why county officials are planning ahead. Census numbers from 2010 show the population in Travis County at 1 million, but that number is expected to grow by 50 percent in the year 2035. And that's why officials need your feedback today before they can take any action. Kate Whitehall's life for us in eastern Travis County with your details. Good morning. Good morning. Well, behind me is the Parmer Lane extension just east of SH 130. A big construction project, but really a really perfect example of what the county is proposing to do with this new plan. So essentially the land around this road is slated to become the next Steiner Ranch with homes, condos and businesses. The county wants a plan where roads are conceived and built in conjunction with major construction, not as an afterthought. And because the county cannot make ordinances like the city of Austin can to establish zoning rules, this plan can help develop guidelines. A way to, to try to mitigate that is to plan long range. Uh, think about how things are going to evolve over, over the next two decades. And, uh, and do the best we can to collaborate with uh, other uh, entities, other governmental entities. So if you'd like to provide your feedback, tonight is the first of seven public meetings happening in Paredes Middle School in South Austin from 5.30 to 7.30. Now, after the public meetings and all the feedback is taken into consideration, uh, county staff will end up revising the plan and then presenting it to county commissioners. They hope to have it adopted by the end of the year. But coming up in 30 minutes, we're going to look a little bit more at the water plan. What are they planning to do with a lot of the creeks and streams that run through the eastern portion of this county? That's in 30 minutes. For now, we're live in eastern Travis County. Kate Wydaw, KXAN News. All right.